This freezing weather is blamed for at least 19 deaths in the past week. Many of them happened in Tennessee, where the cold has been relentless. Cuthbert Langley of CBS affiliate WTBF is in Nashville, where another snow and ice storm is coming. Cuthbert, good morning. Good morning. While you're not seeing the large piles of snow you expect to see whenever we're talking about winter weather, here's where the problem lies for us here in Tennessee. As we come down, you can see these large piles of ice are still covering the roads and the sidewalks. In fact, you can see how thick this chunk of ice is here. Tennessee is expecting more precipitation coming through this afternoon, and for the second time this week, an ice storm warning is expected. Crews are out again this morning ahead of the storm, clearing and salting the roads. Some parts of the state could see up to four inches of snow. But the biggest concern here is the amount of ice we could see throughout the day, especially with these freezing temperatures. And the timing of the storm is key. While officials say folks could be able to get to work this morning, the drive home could be a completely different story. Those temperatures here have not been above freezing for almost a week straight, and nearly 6,000 people are without power still this morning. To put it lightly, it's been a long few days. And as you mentioned, those freezing temperatures coupled with those power outages has been blamed for 11 deaths across the state of Tennessee, with hypothermia being the cause for six of those deaths. Gail? Got it. Cuthbert Langley, one of the best names on the show. <laughs>